also an issue that I've noticed just coming from away from feminism, and I noticed that it wasn't something that's being paid attention to at all. Um, it's primarily ignored, and I knew Sydney from meetups and things like that. And when I found out that she was organizing the event, I just wanted to help in any way. So it feels very positive at the moment. A lot of people are, you know, very happy and they're excited that the event is going on. And so far, none of the negativity that I've seen online is showing its head. But we'll see how the day goes. By. And you're the, the right hand man today. With I'm not the right hand man. I am the little man, and I'm here to support Sydney. She's a gem. You've reached over 50,000 Facebook followers, and you've been able to put together your first public event today, the March of Men. How are you feeling? Yeah, pretty good. I think that, um, you know, apprehensive like most normal people would be, but I'm excited, and I'm really excited to see who's going to come and what's going to happen. So. Why did you choose Men's Issues as the first public event you wanted to do? Well, I think that obviously it had a lot of media coverage and it was sort of getting a lot of traction from a negative perspective. So I thought, you know, maybe we should be countering this with something positive. Maybe we should be countering the negative rhetoric and the negative narratives that are coming out and to do something positive in light of, you know, things that have happened recently and just demonstrate to men that their issues matter. Now, obviously, your popularity has led to a lot of detractors and they're here today, the, the anti far there's the National Union of Students Women's Division and even the LGBT division. I don't know what they've got to do with, with today. Something, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, obviously I think that with any sort of political event like this, and particularly because I'm so far right, which is obviously not the case at all, I'm just a regular conservative, but they have to oppose anything that they deem to be even mildly right of where they are. So I'm not surprised it, it happens. Um, I just hope that they don't cause any trouble really for us. And even though this is the men's march, there's a lot of women here today. Yeah. Uh, and so it's obviously it's not a men versus women thing. Yeah. It's about we need to look after men's issues. Uh, yeah, 100%. I think that people too often think that this is just like a, an issue where you have men and women, men and women versus each other, which is obviously not the case. Um, so I'm so happy to see how many women are here and I hope more come because it just gives legitimacy to the fact that this is not just men screaming into the wind. These are legitimate issues. We've done so many rallies and this is the first time I'm at a rally that has more people on our side, from the right wing, which is really hard to get, coming than the Antifa. So it's exciting. It's a good day for the Conservatives. In fact, they called Sydney and told her, why are you doing it with a Nazi? Mm. How are you? Us arguing as human beings, like men and women, how, how, we, how we have this disparity is causing the victims in between to be lost in all the information, pretty much. And um, we, I'm suppose I'm just here today to let people know my peace, and that is as a victim to a survivor, that um, you know that we're all here to be peaceful with one another, and that you know we recognise that women suffer as much as men, and vice versa. And we're just here to bring light to that sort of you know light to that sort of medium between both of us. And obviously the, the, the counter-protesters who are over there, they claim that uh, men like you, you're just upset at losing of course. power in, in society. In, how, how do you respond to that? I don't necessarily respond at all, only because I know for a fact that that's a agenda of their own and that's a perspective of their own. I feel as if what's more important, again, is the focus on the issues between men and women, survivors of domestic abuse, rape and all that. And that's where I stand on that. These people, they're allowed to have their opinions on me. Obviously, I don't look like a Nazi. Don't, I'm not a Nazi. I'm not a white supremacist, nothing like that. I don't have any agenda. But the fact is to speak here on my own, you know what I mean? With these people that also have their own ideologies. So I don't really get scared or I don't really get, like, no, what's the word? I don't really get scared or I don't really get um, confused between what's happening between both of us because their views and what they think we are isn't correct. And what's your view on women's rights as a whole? I mean, obviously, the, the, the feminist movement, yeah. they still think there's, there's more to go. Yeah, of course, and I believe that too. I believe there is much more to go with the feminist movement inside Australia and also inside of other countries. Other countries more so because women, like, obviously suffer more in countries where, you know, you have genital mutilation and all that stuff where women can't drive cars and women can't also, you know, uh, do things that men do in other countries, but nonetheless, speaking about it in here, there's still a lot of social stigma that I recognise as a male that's still based around women, and um, that's also part of the issue that we're tackling today. Men, you guys are incredible. You do so much for our society. You respect your wives and your daughters and your partners and the 
people that mean something, and that means a lot to me. Does that mean a lot to you girls that are marching? Yes! So thank you. Thank you for existing. This march is going to draw to a close quite soon because we don't want anyone expiring in the heat because God knows I'm not good in the sunshine. I burn. Man up. I am a monster. Thank you again to the police. I very much appreciate you guys being here. I know that your job is hard and you guys cop it a lot because people at the top are absolute peanuts, but you guys on the ground are pretty great, so thank you.